Hey guys, welcome back to the big board. It's the 12th of October turn and we've wrapped up the turn. Not a whole lot happened up in this end of the, the woods, up in the north section of the map. We're up near Stai, uh, Staraya Arusa, uh, just here. And this has been fairly static. We did rearrange the forces so that we weren't as exposed as the Germans and the Soviets were looking to try and press in here but did not attack last turn. Uh, we moved down away, there's a little bit more action. We we pressed some forces up this way here. Uh, Strat moved some chappies up towards Rajev. And let's have a look at the Rajev area. I'll try and get the camera down without knocking pieces over. Uh, so what went on in Rajev? Through the course of the turn, uh, we put 6th Panzer into reserve Try and get them close to this river here because this is what the Soviets are using to uh, trace supply last turn due to being cut off over here. And we consolidated forces as the Germans here into one hex in, um, in uh, combat mode <coughs> versus being kind of overextended here. And in fact, that hex would have been out of supply. So uh, we had, a, I think, an artillery unit their last turn that uh, should have rolled for attrition, uh, so we did do that and he survived. Uh, then, uh, so this area then we moved 36th and parts or most of 7th Panzer via strat move, uh, sorry, reserve move, uh, if you follow the black line, uh, from around about this area here and up to here. Um, trying to press, really uh, choke off Rajev as opposed to driving towards Moscow for the moment. It's a little bit early to be trying to hit that. And there are a few, there are, but there's not much in the way. I just don't have the ability to feed anyone uh, if they did head that way. And in fact, I'm probably more inclined to try and go towards Kalinin uh, further to the north, uh, the northeast. Right, there was a, a huge whack of units here, which we advanced up as well, uh, trying to, Soviets tried to counterattack and uh, caused uh, uh, a step loss and a, and a retreat around the Vyazma area. Uh, they tried to move most of their forces here out of the way, but uh, couldn't get all of them out and nor could they, and they only just managed to get supply into this HQ so he could actually move along with this, uh, this uh, unit here. In the center of the map near Spars uh, Donetsk, over here. I'm just gonna scan back a little bit. Let's scoot back for you, right here, in this direction. We had uh, parts of uh, Das Reich and Third Motorized moving this way. Well, we split their force. We split the this uh, force up and let them join up with this other SS division here uh, to reinforce 14th Motorized because I was very concerned that uh, they were kind of hung out on a limb there. So we we bolstered the the situation there. Uh, the Russians moved back off the river here in this town, and uh, it's called the Yukonov. They moved back off uh, mainly because. They were concerned about being surrounded there, given the movement rates of the forces. I'm not sure if that was a good move. Uh, what happened there? Because they... Um, did they move off or not? No, in fact, I think what I did is uh, I, I attacked this hex, and the force retreated one, and then they were attacked again in the reserve uh, exploitation phase from units in reserve, which eliminated this units in this hex, uh, actually forced them uh, to retreat, take a step loss and retreat. Uh, three hexes, uh, we rolled a, a 12 and a six on the column shifts. So it was a pretty nasty roll for them. That allowed everyone to kind of power through and we did a little bit of loop-de-loop -loop here, tried to capture these wagons, but did not. So they, they, they've got to come off. We knocked out another HQ there. So for the Germans, although they went low supply here, which would be expensive to fix, it was, uh, it was well worth the, uh, the effort. And as I look at the map, I've realized that the Germans have actually uh, either pocketed or killed a substantial number, probably six HQs, 
which uh, is going to hurt. Uh, it's really starting to restrict the ability to throw for the Soviets and thus allow them to do very much else. So a little bit of a problem there, uh, which we're going to have to fix. Over uh, just a little bit further south, uh, with lots of units moving forward, I took the chance with the Germans to press the... I just knocked my stack over. Good job, Sean. Move the 20th Panzer up fairly aggressively. It's still just in supply range and throw range from the truck extenders that are back here. So logistically, we're sound. We're also pretty good here. That's the extent of the uh, throw range of the trucks uh, that are just back towards um, west of Kirov for the moment. I'm going to move that extender. And I'm not using that optional rule that locks the extenders into place. I I'm not good enough at playing this game to do that. Uh, and I think I just saw that I have not moved a division. Huh. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, here we go. So uh, so uh, we're pushing pretty hard this way. I would love to be able to get two divisions up towards Tula before all of this construction is finished by the Soviets and reinforcement there. The Soviets are still pretty thin on the ground. And part of the problem I'm having is that there's no ability to have any sort of defense in depth. So uh, the games I've seen, most players have two rows of units so that even if you do get the breakthrough on uh, the first combat, that then when the reserve units are released in the exploit phase, they have to, you know, they're not driving on five or six hexes like we did here and, and circling units. All right, at this point now, this town looks uh, tenuous because of the potential to press up here. The challenge will be using strategic movement to get all of these infantry divisions further up the food chain, uh, the, the road and, and whatnot, to uh, uh, support the Panzers. Plus, we have the issue of supply. I have one SP floating here. Uh, that we're using as a depot, and that's really it. There are a few truck, a few uh, divisions that are full with supply, so they can kind of leapfrog to the next, to the next stage. But uh, we're going to have to roll really well on the supply uh, this turn uh, coming for the Germans to have any impact. All right, uh, there's two SP there, of course. Uh, Brian's no change. Uh, we we went through our. Exercise, exercise there of uh, considering a breakout, but we're not able to because we didn't have uh, a unit close enough, and that now unit is now blocked. I think from or will be next turn anyway. Uh, that's going to, I think that'll prevent a breakout in Bryansk. Uh, I kind of prefer not to have to roll for all those guys anyway. Uh, Tula, not a whole lot happened. We just, uh, we just try to lock up a few units here and there. Now over here in Kursk, Kursk is somewhat under siege and I'm really trying not to get into any fights over there because we have fairly limited supply. Uh, there's just one SP left here after moving all these other guys and bringing the 10th motorized up. Uh, 17th moved just its infantry units and we spent a fair bit of... Um, I've got to take those guys off. Fair bit of time working out how to get through here to encircle these units and cut off uh, both of these both of these forces. So that's going to cause uh, some problems for the Soviets next turn. I really was not sure what to do with the 16th motorized. They were hanging out over here, and there's just there's just nowhere to go, you know. Uh, so we. Decided to stick them in, in uh, reserve mode and then uh, get them the extra movement points and pop over to here, slow down this retreat and possibly bag ourselves another HQ. Uh, and in the meantime, threaten the rest of this area. So, so far, the idea that I had, which was to try and capture this double, this double railway line, uh, is coming along, uh, although I have not enough rail conversion units to, to make the rail useful. Kharkov. Uh, 
once again I had uh, challenges with supply down here as well look you know that's almost goes without saying right there are challenges with supply every turn uh, but we decided to redirect to 9th Panzer and also uh, the um, 16th Panzer forces and bang them over to here and try and threaten this this northern part of Kharkov because it was just a, a bulk of units here in the way and I think the infantry can kind of move this way get to this main river and if we can work out how to circle around this way and stay in supply then we'll be in business. I do have to scram some trucks together here or wagons to build an extender. Uh, I've got the rail built to Poltava so we can throw a fair distance but uh, certainly not, uh, not, not this far. I don't intend on staying there long. I just wanted to capture the airfield so that I can potentially bring some supply in there if I need to with the transports that I have down as part of the map. All right. Just a big old fur ball here. Lots of stuff going on. Uh, I do a lot of juggling here as well with units to wiggle their way through and I spent SP I didn't want to spend moving these stupid little Italian dudes who uh, have actually proved their worth because they're quite good but they're expensive to move. Um, and then finally, let's have a quick look down uh, these guys will not die here, but we'll get them eventually. Um, you know, these guys have uh, just continued to move forward. They're able to uh, stay abreast of, uh, by staying in contact with these forces, they're preventing uh, dropping into reserve mode or strategic mode and escaping. So while we're doing that, we're um, we're preventing, we're preventing uh, units running away, even if we can't kill them in the immediate short term. No action in the Sevastopol area with the seven, uh, 11th Army, I think this is. Uh, we consolidated the gains, moved into the fortified locations that the Soviets had built, and we're now trying to you know, sneak around the back door here and, uh, and see what we can, we can pocket up. So that's the 12th. Uh, the Soviets did spend a fair bit of uh, supply uh, improving defenses in Rostov and in Stalino and in Kharkov last turn and uh, slowly moving forces back and bringing whatever they can forward to uh, defend Kharkov and also uh, put enough supply in there that if there is an extended siege they will try and hold out. On the far side of Moscow, we continue to build, uh, build up the defenses around, in and around Moscow and in the Tula area. Uh, so it was a long, uh, a long turn and so jumping back in the saddle, as I said earlier on. Uh, in the last video, um, after being off this for six weeks, it uh, took a little while to get going. So that's the turn and we'll talk to you soon.